guys in this video I'm gonna be doing another tier list as yesterday creating um, a tier list about all robberies this time yesterday was all vehicles this time it's all robberies so yeah and before I um, reveal my tier list if you guys do enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like and also subscribe with our post notifications turned on and the uh Let's get in the video. So the first robbery I would rank is in fact the bank. I would keep it in B tier. How about B for bank? Just kidding. I would actually keep it like that because it's actually pretty decent. It gives 2,250 cash. Like depending on what type of vault it is. Which is actually really fun. It does not give the most money in the... Irritation about it is actually key card needing. We need a key card. That's why I don't like the bank as much. But I think it's decent. It's the first to have been server Roblox jailbreak. That's why I would keep B for bank in B tier. And the next one is in fact the donut shop. And the reason why it's because it, it if you are bad CC, he gives you 750 cash. That uh, and which is not a lot, but at least he drops a donut, unlike Asimo389, which drops that soda can, and it literally takes out, it gives you a running boost, but it drops out 50% of your health. You lose um half of your health, that's why I hate the gas station. And the next one is in fact the jewelry store, I would keep it in B tier, and the reason why is because it's actually pretty decent, 2k, 500 cash, I really like it. Please uh, see more, add these kind of robberies to jewelry. Mm, it's actually a big robbery, but I would keep it in B tier. And the next one is in fact the museum, I would keep it in A tier. And the reason why museum A tier is because it drops 3500 cash, no, no game pass. So I actually would put it S tier, but since it takes for me for hours to find one other player that can pull the lever, I would have to keep it in A tier. And the next one is in fact the cargo choo choo train, B tier. I actually would keep it up here, but since it got nerfed by a lot, I would keep, I have to keep it in B tier now. So yeah, and the next one is in fact the passenger train. I would keep it in C tier, and the reason why is because it actually drops 1500 cash, which is not a lot, and it's just a replacement of the cargo train, and it literally is way worse than the cargo train. So what's the use of a passenger train, right? So that's why I would keep it in C tier. And the cargo plane, I would actually keep it in B tier. And the reason why I would keep cargo plane in B tier instead of S tier is because it drops 4,000 cash, but it is really slow. If you guys have like a some sort of grinding strategy or anything for cargo plane, I would not recommend using cargo plane. I would just take it out. Because it takes forever to come. That's why um I would not grind in it if I were you creating um a grinding life cycle. So yeah, and the next one is in fact the power plant. Power plant S tier. Do we even need to explain it? If you guys have a volt bike and it goes literally fast without lag, zero ping, no packet loss, um, FPS is like at 200 FPS, and you're like going super fast, power plant is super good. Unlike um, waiting for another person to pull the lever in museum, I would keep it in S tier. So, yeah. And the next one is, in fact, cargo ship. Do we even need to talk about the cargo ship number one, boys? That's all I have to say. If you guys rub two, um, two crates on the cargo ship, it is really good. It gives, like, more than 10k cash. That's how good it is. It used to drop 2,000 cash each crate, but now it drops, like, 5k cash. That's why I like it. 
but be aware that there are missiles in here. As you guys can see this um purple dot right here. It's a missile. And missiles are not safe. That's why I would keep it in. But I like it though. And the next one is in fact the tomb. And the reason why is because I I actually do not like the only thing I don't like is that to like step on those three things you need two other players but every gem gives seven thousand cash why not rob it like it's just seven thousand cash i know it takes a while to rob it it's the longest to rob inside of roblox jailbreak but it gives a lot of cash that's why i would keep it in s tier and the last one is in fact the bank truck and the reason why it's the bank truck is because, as you guys can already tell, it has only two cops. That two cops have to be in the bank truck, and not many cops cooperate. It has like a limited time of criminals you have to arrest in order to be able to um drive it to its location and get cash. And but if you rob it to, as a solo, you get like literally 10k cash maximum. That's why I love the bank truck. So yeah, that is it. My ranking jailbreak robberies, rob, ranking my jailbreak robberies since I have Roblox jailbreak. Let me know in the comment section down below how, about how you guys think I did. Do you guys agree or disagree with my picks? And also, this is a fact. No, no. This is just an opinion, not a fact. And please do not treat it as a fact. This is just my opinion. If you guys think I put the gas station too low, then that's just your opinion. But do not, um, like, um... Judge me in the comments down below, please. This is just my opinion. We all have different opinions. And the, uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like and also subscribe with all post notifications turned on. And the, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.